yellow. For red, if C-H-E-R is correct, you will only have three letters there to uh, make word to guess what's ending as C-H-E-R, and that is very, very encouraging. So from catcher, let's try to permute. We say T-A-C, C-A-T, let's do T-A-C, but you must give a word. So there's no such thing as T-A-C, C-H-E-R. So we say, oh, let's do T-A-C, K-E-R-S, okay? Kept in mind, the C-H-E-R is correct if you, you know, had it. Now we introduce this just to test out the first three letters. What happened? Tackers. Tackers gives you one red, four yellow, and you lost red, which is understandable if you see H-E-R was, was red, and uh, you moved all these positions, so those are, are moved to, into yellow. But you do still have one red, and that got to be out of the C or A or T somehow the uh, uh, permutation you made there made it one red, okay? And you might just take a bold guess, that's T, because something C-H-E-R sounds very familiar. You say, okay, what is the word? Let's go for it. Now, you say, I think that's teacher. Because you kept C-H-E-R, T in the first place correct, and you have one another A or C correct in there to, to uh, uh, introduce two letters, and you guess teachers. And sure enough, teacher is correct. Okay? So, this game, we didn't play in the rigorous way, but uh, used this as, as an as a illustration, which I hope you uh, uh, now appreciate how this uh, game is played. It's quite fun when you play this uh, between two people or as a group in the school, in the class, and, uh, and let the you know, students uh, you know, making guesses. While doing the guesses, you have to think about words, vocabulary, and spelling, okay? Now, let's play one more game, and before the uh, time is up, okay? Uh, let's uh, continue on. We had a smart school teacher, all right? So, Three words are played. The last word, uh, that was five-letter word, six-letter word, seven-letter word. Now we'll play a eight-letter word. Now, do not give the answer this time, please. We should, okay? Uh, play the rigorous way. You have eight letters. That means you have eight crosses there. You don't know what the uh, eight letters are. And you make the first guess. Now, do not color it, though. If you color it, that makes no sense at all, okay? Uh, who did this coloring? It's wrong. Uh, typing should not have color on the first guess because once you color, you are giving everybody clue, okay? Uh, that's not correct. You should have teachers as a first guess, no color in there. None of them should be colored until at the end we'll do the analysis and then we have color, okay? Uh, as you can see, we are doing this uh, in, as a first time experiment and uh, um, we, we need to get the, you know, the kinks out. But I think audience appreciate how this game is played, you know. Fortunately, now you have extra information. This extra information was given to you, you saw it. Uh, let's pretend we didn't, okay? The first guess, a letter word, is teachers. And you have one red, two yellow. Okay? Now, what can you do? The second word, you just say students, all right? Teachers, students. I mean, first couple words doesn't have to be correlated too well because you, you are far from converging to the end yet. So for students, what you get? You get one red, three yellow. Wow, that's better than the teachers, isn't it? Uh, teacher is uh, one red, two yellow. So you gain the yellow. But see the, the difference of letters, okay? Teachers, you have S, you have T in common, okay? Student has S and T, okay? Uh, you have E in common, 
that uh, teacher has E, student has E, okay? All right, and what else? Why do you look for the common letters? Because you have, you know, minimum three correct letters already guessed in these two words, okay? So keep that in mind and give me the third word, okay? The third word, ah, this obviously is an experienced player. You try to keep the teachers uh, and permutate a few letters and see what's uh, happening. You play the theaters, okay? So the ERS retained and do the theater. And this answer in theater gives you one red, two white. That is almost the same as teachers, one red, two white. And of course, we already, some, if the audience was here early and peaked the first slide, you already got a clue. There were some letters that by accident, you know, <laughs> leaked out to you. So you know the ERS is very crucial here. One red, two, two yellow is there. So the T-H-E-A-T -E that's introduced there the theater, the thea, T, perhaps is all, you know, not useful. So, kept, okay, E-R-S, and see what else you can do. Let's guess another word. Aha. Uh -huh. This, again, uh, it's a pretty smart move. Introducing new vowels, okay, you want to get the U, uh, in there and just test them out and you keep the ERS in a different permutation since they were uh, you know uh, not necessary in the right place so see what happens so measure and measures gives you three red one yellow that is very encouraging okay three red one yellow so now you should focus on thinking which three are on the right spot, okay? Are they the new letters that introduced in the M-E-A-S-U part of it, or is it in R-E-S-E-S, -E -S? okay? All right, uh, this is uh, very interesting, yeah. Okay, come on, let's see what do you think. Ah, okay, somebody believe maybe M is, is correct, so we wanna keep the M and try to do the other letters. So it says mistakes. All right. What does mistakes give you? Three red, one yellow. Almost the same as measures. Huh? That is interesting. That is very interesting. Even you change the vowels, now you introduce I. Okay, this is another a clue when you play this kind of game. Uh, since vowels, only A, E, I, O, U, only five vowels in English words, okay? And uh, try to determine them early is, is good strategy. Sometimes you want to introduce E, A, O, U, and I, and so on, and quickly identify uh, the right vowels and the right position if you can. That will get you, you know, converge to the right answer faster. So, at this point, mistakes gives you three red, one white. They're all very encouraged. The three reds are very encouraged, be encouraging because that uh, helps you, uh, you know, converge. All right, next, you say disperse, okay? Now, what disperse gives you even more. You now have three red, and three yellow uh, by replacing M by D, okay, and uh, T by P, all right, you kept IS and you kept ERS still there. Uh, assuming that ERS is, is uh, correct, now the new introduced letter must be helpful. So P could be a helpful letter, all right, that's a clue. So. The next, you say, well, let's try to do that. See whether the IS or DIS is correct, either D or P. You choose to keep the D, 
do disguise, ah, unfortunately, disguise loses two red. You get one red, three yellow. That tell you immediately, okay, the P has to be there. And in fact, not only to be there, it has to be the right place because you lost two red out of that, okay? So this, I think, already very, very close, very, very close to the end because if you think about this, the three, last three words, the, the mistakes uh, and, uh, and the dis disperse and the disguise, okay? And with the previous, you know, uh, words, uh, you almost can say, let's say the ending R-E-S probably is correct position, and P has to be on the fourth position correct, okay? And I and S is needed, but you don't know where it is. And D perhaps is not the correct position and nor correct letter. So you try to keep the I, S, and the P, and the ending perhaps something R, E, S, okay? Because R, E, S all along seem to be needed, okay? Right, so if you keep the ending R, E, S, and you keep the P on the fourth position, and you have to have I and an S, okay, now you begin to think. Okay, what sort of words that um, can get you there? Particularly P on the fourth position with IS uh, in, in front. Um, it's, um, you know, for example, uh, inspect, uh, in, in, you know, something. The I and S might be. So you could try that. At this point, I will let you finish. Okay, see anybody? Ah, you have a word. It says, inspires. Uh, you keep the R, E, S at the end, and the P is on the fourth position, and you do I, N, S, inspires. Double I, double S, okay? And that happened to be correct. So, the word is inspires, okay? Now, let me uh, pull the curtain here to see whether we actually did correctly or not. All right, this, uh, you can focus on this uh, answer we have. And when we play these four games, uh, the four letters is uh, first, smart, second is school, third letter is teacher, was word is inspires. If, if you can zoom in and, and focus on this, okay? Uh, so we have a message, message for our schools. Smart school teachers, okay? Smart school teacher inspires. That's our uh, game today. We call it Scramble Mastermind, based on a simple game, Mastermind. Many people know how to play using color objects or uh, you know, numbers. Sometimes you play with telephone numbers, uh, five digits, seven digits, and people just keep on guessing, keep on guessing until you get the right phone number. And that whole process is deduction by thinking about your feedback, okay? Uh, whether you got white, one right, one wrong, and so on, okay? And we basically adopt this easy game uh, or easy to learn, uh, use their rules, but we introduce spelling, you introduce vocabulary. You really have to sharpen your mind and keep on practicing and so on. This is the whole object for Scramble Games. And uh, as uh, you all know, that Scramble Games uh, has uh, many ways, uh, almost 20 uh, games to play. So thank you for uh, join us watching this game. And I hope you enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you next time. Good night, everybody. Let's uh, close out this session.